Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video we will talk about the Caudility Tape Equilibrium Lesson 3.3. In brief the problem is we are given an array of numbers and we start by calculating the sum of the numbers before a certain position and then the sum of the rest of the numbers on the right side of this separating position. And then we calculate the absolute difference between these two series of numbers in order to find the position where we obtain the minimum value of this difference. So for example here, if we consider this starting position, we do the sum of all the numbers that are strictly before, so we have 3 in total, and then we do the sum of the rest of the elements, we get 10, and the absolute difference of these two sums is equal to 7. If we move the separating position to the number 2, then we have to add 3 plus 1 from one side, so we obtain 4. And from the other side, we are adding 2 plus 4 plus 3, so we get 9. And the absolute difference between those two numbers is equal to 5. So the problem consists on moving the separating position from the second element, then to the right, by increasing the positions index. And for each position, we will calculate this explained difference, absolute difference, between the left sum and the right sum in order to find the minimal value of this difference. One thing to be aware of here is that the element pointed at by the separating position is included in the right sum. So the first separating position is at the second element, which is number 1 here, and it ends at the last element of the array, which is number 3. This way we will always have at least one element for the left sum and one element for the right sum, no matter what is the separating position. And we can notice we have two edge cases, the starting position here at the number one, where you have only one element in the left sum, and the other edge case is when the position is at the end of the array, and in this case you have only one element in the right sum. So as we have said, the function should move the separating position, check all the absolute differences between the left sum and the right sum, and finally return the minimal difference that is found. It is stated by uh, Codility that the algorithm must be efficient, and usually when they specify that we need an efficient algorithm, it means that any brute solutions are most likely not going to give you a 100% score at the end. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the brute solution. It's relatively easy to put into place for a position going from 1 to n. n is the size of the array. Then notice that I've started my position at the position 1 instead of uh, the index 0. And then inside of this, while changing my position, I have to go through the whole array, visiting each element from 0 to n, and calculate the sum of the left side and the sum of the right side elements. So these will be called SL and SR for the sake of simplicity in the rest of this video. So as we can see, the solution reads the array more than one time. So basically it's reading the whole array for each position p for each value of p and obviously this is not the best way to do things because going through the array so many times increases the time complexity of the solution a more efficient way of doing this would keep the number of array readings to a minimum first we compute the total sum of the array so we will call it s then considering our separating position is starting at the second element we will sum the first part or the left part of the array. So in other words, we calculate the value of uh, SL. And here notice that since we already have the total sum and we just calculated the left sum, you don't have to go through the whole array to calculate the right sum anymore. We can simply subtract the left sum from the total sum and this will provide us the right sum, SR. And as we are moving through the array, we have both terms, SR and SL, so just in one single go, and so we can calculate the difference between those two terms, just as required by the problem. So in my program, it's going to be written this way, SR is equal to the total sum minus the left sum, and the difference, the absolute difference between these two terms is equal to SL 
minus I'm going to replace SR by S minus SL and I will obtain this equation here which is equal to twice the left sum minus the total sum and as you can see to implement this algorithm we don't need two embedded for loops anymore we just need one for loop that goes through the array to compute the total sum at first and then a second for loop to go through the array again one more time to calculate the absolute difference between the left sum and the right sum and the minimum value can be found in parallel here by including this condition statement uh, in the second for loop so every time we have the absolute difference between SL and SR we can check if it's less than minimum uh, diff for example this is a variable that will hold the minimum difference value and if it's the case I will update the value of this variable so at the end of this loop we will have our result at hand because this is what is required by by the problem we should find the minimum difference uh, through the whole uh, array and using this solution requires reading our array twice in total no matter the size of the array and the time complexity in this case is kept linear with the size of our array so now let's go and see how to write this in C++ and Python so this is our solution function it takes an array and it returns an integer we will start by checking if uh, the size of our array is strictly less than two it means it's either an empty array or it only contains one single element and in this case we can return zero because this is uh, the correct answer then to calculate the uh, total sum of the array's element i will uh, use the function accumulate from the beginning of a until the end of a and starting with a sum initial sum that is equal to zero you can use a for loop instead here and iterate over the all the elements just to calculate the sum but here i just use this one to be more concise it's a function that is provided by a c++ library uh, which we have to include this is the uh, numeric library then i will define the uh, integer sl this is the uh, left part sum and the minimum difference which for the moment is set to the integer maximum value because uh, this is how we initialize it it's uh, I do this by habit by using the C limits uh, library but in this case Codility specified that the values of the elements of the array are within minus 1000 and 1000 so your maximum here you can start around 2000 safely this would do it then we can start our for loop uh, from the first element until before the last element because the last element is always included in the right sum and we will add the values of uh, the elements to the sl variable the left sum then i will define a local variable called uh, diff just to uh, check the absolute difference and i will use the formula that we have demonstrated in the algorithm part and I will check if the minimum uh, difference is higher than the current difference in this case I will update the value of my min diff variable and basically that's it we can safely return the min diff variable and I have to close this with braces and that's it for the C++ part in Python we will proceed in the same way so I have my solution function it takes my array a and we can start by testing if the length of a is strictly lower than two that means it's either an empty list or a list with one single element in this case we can return zero and if not the program will continue and we will use the sum function to calculate the total sum of a so we can do this this is some kind of shortcut you don't have to use a for loop here to uh, calculate your total sum it's straightly done by this function then I will define a new variable that will hold the minimum difference its maximum value is set to 2000 as we've said before our elements uh, values are within the range of minus 1000 and plus 1000 so the maximum difference we could obtain here is 2000 then the left sum variable SL is equal to zero as a start as an initial uh, value then I'll jump into my for loop so for i is in the range of 0 until the length of a minus 1 remember I need to run this loop 
until before the last element of my list. I will calculate uh, the sum of the left elements for each position by adding the value of the element to my uh, left sum. And then I can calculate the difference, uh, the absolute difference between the left sum and the right sum by using the equation we had or we demonstrated in the algorithm part. Then I'm going to check which is the minimum value between my current minimum difference and the newly calculated difference here. The minimum difference variable will be updated accordingly. So we will take the lower value here. And once this is done, when I finish uh, looping through the whole array, I can simply return my variable, meaning the minimum uh, difference value, which is the solution required for my problem. This is it for the solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying these and keep up the hard work.